Good morning, and thank you for tuning in and listening to us here behind the scenes at the Hanover Theater. This is Lisa Condit, and I am in the studio with my one of my favorite co-workers, Laurie Carr, our marketing specialist. Good morning, Laurie. Good morning, Lisa. So for the first part of our program today, we are going to be talking all about happy together, reminiscing. I know I have more reminiscing to do in this category than you do, <laughs> Laurie, but together we've come up with some interesting facts and we're going to play some music. And celebrate the 60s on this Father's Day. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. And I just have to say, Laurie, you're going to be surprised because remember when we saw Jersey Boys and you actually recognized many of the songs? Yes. Happy together. That's going to be a similar situation I for know. you. I yeah. know. It's, it's a great be, song. Well, it's not just the song. It's all the other songs because what? We have over 60 top 10 hits. Yes. Top 40 hits. Oh, top 40 hits. But I think that a lot of them were Are, also. Yeah, they're within the top 10. See, that's incredible. Yeah. It's amazing. All on one stage. Right. One night. And we have a lot of the original singers and musicians from the different groups. And yeah. we... What should we start talking about? Happy Together? Yeah, why not? Because that's the, that's the namesake for the whole show. So I have lots of happy memories of Happy Together. And it's crazy because when we were, we were doing the research, how many different movies has that song been featured in? I well, can, in movies, it's, it's over 20 movies. And it ranges from the 1970s all the way up until 2010. And I can highlight a couple. Um, some of them, The Naked Gun, During the 90s. Well, Freaky Friday in 2003, the, Sim- the Simpsons movie, 27 Dresses, The Stepfather, Get Him to the Greek. So it's a wide range of, of movies that you, that you have there. It's totally a classic song, too. And it's been, you know, if you ever watched The Wonder Years, did you ever watch The Young I one? did. Oh, I good. Yeah, I know. And so this was a classic song that was featured on that show as well. And, you know, who, who sang that song? There were many covers of this song. It's a popular one. Weezer, Captain and Tennille. It's Captain and Tennille. Tennille. By the way, they sang Tie a Yellow Ribbon Round the Old Oak Tree. That's Captain and Tennille. Oh. But yes, they did the Happy Together. They did Simple Plan, Donny Osmond, T.G. Shepard. Again, a wide range of artists from country to, I would say, Weezer's kind of punk rock. Because it's really, it's a catchy song. It is. And the people who are coming to the theater and singing it for us would be the Turtles featuring, and this is this is a trivia, why do they have the names, is it Flo and Eddie? Yes. And so why Flo and Eddie? Do you remember? I it's don't. because they were forbidden to put their real names after the Turtles contractually. Oh. So they had to come up with some other pseudo names. Isn't that interesting? I tell you, all these bands had these little hiccups that they had to deal with. Kind of kind of nuts, don't you think? Yeah. So this this whole show, it's been about three years, I guess, since the Turtles featuring, of course, Flo and Eddie, brought back some of their friends for the 25th anniversary tour back in 2010. And this Happy Together tour has become one of the most successful summer tours evidently in existence. That's what we hear. Constantly hitting the road and celebrating the music of the 60s for thousands of quote, happy fans to enjoy across North America. And this year's Happy Together Tour features, as we know, Flo and Eddie of the Turtles, Chuck Negron, formerly of Three Dog Night, which, by the way, one of my favorite songs of all time from Three Dog Night 2. We're going to have to um, hear that one, too. And Gary Puckett and the Union Gap, Mark Lindsay, former lead singer of Paul Revere and the Raiders, and Gary Lewis and the Playboys. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's great. That's the uh, highlights of the 60s. Highlights of the 60s. And I guess it's 54 cities in over nine weeks. And the groups on this year's show bring with them hours of hit songs and memories certain to please every fan of the 1960s. I am a fan of the 1960s. I was actually born at the end of the 60s, but because of my brothers, I find that I know every word to all these songs. Because remember, we used to sit around with the guitars back Mm -hmm. in the 60s. 70s. We can all picture it, can't we? Yeah, that's funny. So, well, all those songs, you know, they're they're classics. And even today, they're still some of the most popular songs that we have out there. And it'll be 
it'll be great to see all of those major hits from the 60s. And Tuesday, June 25th at 7.30. For your tickets, please visit our website. That's thehanovertheater.org. Check out our Facebook page, and Laurie does lots of cool promotions and trivia questions on Facebook. Good way to win tickets sometimes. And you can also call our box office, 877-571-SHOW. So, wow, that song was the 44th most popular song in the U.S. in the 20th century in the Hall of Fame. Does that make sense? (laughs) No, it's also... Also, the the turtles are in the Hall of Fame. (laughs) (laughs) So the turtles are in the Hall of Fame, but that song was the 44th most popular song in the U.S. in the 20th century. Yes. And it was released in 1967, and it held the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100 for three full weeks. And the song has also been featured in so many different commercials throughout the years. I mean, it's everything from Burger King, the NFL, Nintendo, Red Lobster, Heineken, Clinique, Florida Orange Juice, Nickelodeon, Golden Grams, and then, of course, Toyota and Ford. I, you know, they just, it's, it's in everything. It seems like everyone really enjoys the song, and it just, it's, it's a great song. Great it, American song. It is a great American song. I want to know what the other 43 more popular songs are, because honestly, that song seems to have infiltrated everything. We've, we've talked about the over 18 different covers, the eight different TV shows, the 20 different movies, the 10 different commercials. And it's because when you listen to it, I'll, I'll admit, in the studio as I was listening to that song, I started to dance a little bit. I had, I had my own cartoon in my head. Yeah. It's a happy <laughs> song. You can't listen to it and not feel happy. Exactly. So come Tuesday, June 25th at 730 and be happy together with us because that's going to be a really great time. So what else is going on with the Happy Together Tour? Well, like you had mentioned earlier, there's a slew of different artists that are going to be there, one of them being um, Three Dog Night. And we're going to hear from some of their music. Okay, well, let's go to a quick break in just a couple seconds. And when we come back from that break, let's listen to one of my favorite songs from Three Dog Night. And that's going to be a lot of fun. So we're, we're shaking it up today on Behind the Scenes at the Hanover Theater. Sherman, our producer, is helping us like you cannot even imagine. So we appreciate all of his help and everybody here at CRN. And stay tuned for more Behind the Scenes after this break. Welcome back to Behind the Scenes at the Hanover Theater. This is Lisa Conant. I'm here with Laurie Carr and Carolyn Ambrose, our development assistant. And Carolyn is a three-dog night expert. So we brought her into the segment early. Carolyn, tell us about your favorite memory listening to three-dog night. That's an easy one. Come on. So it was in my 1968 Buick Skylark that my brother primed black. It was a beauty, (laughs) and it was called Black Beauty. And we had an awesome 8-track tape in there, and we listened to Three Dog Night all the time. At the loudest volume, I bet, right? Absolutely. These are good cruising songs, totally good cruising songs. Any other favorite memories? Any other favorite parties where you remember those songs and the wind anything that you can talk about on the air joy to the world joy to the world well let's hear that and that's going to put us all in the 60s mood and then we'll continue on and that was chuck negron of three dog night love that song it brings back lots of good memories not just for me but for carolyn too and laura you had just a couple more things you wanted to add Yeah, did you ladies both know that from 1969 to 1974, no one had more number number one in the top ten hits or had sold more records or concert tickets than Three Dog Night? That's even beating out the Beatles. That's pretty crazy. That's incredible. And people, you can have this whole night of fun Tuesday, June 25th at 7.30 here at the Hanover Theater. Again, go online to thehanovertheater.org for information about tickets. We also have information on some of the other bands that Laurie had researched. Yeah, so Gary Lewis and the Playboys, that's an, another one of the bands that's going to be here on Tues- that Tuesday. And their first single was This Diamond Ring, which I think we're going to finish up with that song. Yep, we're going to finish the segment with This Diamond Ring, and then when we come back, we're going to talk to Carolyn about corporate sponsorship opportunities. And the great thing about corporate sponsorship opportunities is not only do we get to partner with fabulous organizations, not just nonprofits, but for-profit businesses as well, but it is a great way for 
companies to get a lot of great visibility and be connected to our brand, one of the top 50 theaters in the world. And as you all know, we work pretty hard to get the word out there, and we love to partner with people. So Carolyn's going to talk about some of those opportunities right after this song. So again, happy to gather the tour coming to the Hanover Theater, June 25th at 7.30. The HanoverTheater.org is a place to go for tickets. Also visit us on Facebook for fun promotions. And so Carolyn's here. She's going to talk to us about some of the corporate sponsorship opportunities that are coming up in the next season. And spoiler alert, everybody, you're probably going to hear about shows that we have not announced yet, but it's okay. We're all friends here at Behind the Scenes at the Hanover Theater on CRN AM 830. The first one we're going to talk about is announced, so everybody knows that Hair is coming to the Hanover Theater, and for right now, that is a subscriber add-on, but the great thing about Hair, and of course it fits into the music we were just listening to, is it's a fun show, it's going to get a lot of visibility, and Carolyn, why don't you tell us a little bit about what corporate sponsors sponsors tend to enjoy when they sponsor a show? Well, hair is available for $7,500. It's going to take place between May 6th and 7th. There is going to be two performances, but it just makes good business sense to partner with the Hanover Theater. It provides great access to the best cultural entertainment in New England. Um, It offers great VIP level of service and benefits that your clients and employees will feel really special engaging in. Um, you'll be able to leverage the Hanover Theater's excellent reputation and the high visibility branding that we have available. Um, You can join other key decision makers and community leaders in demonstrating your company's commitment to the arts and the rebirth of the downtown. I just need to say for one second that another really great way for people to enjoy the Hanover Theater and to impress their clients, their friends, their family, their associates is through the Franklin Square Society membership because that gives them private access to our Franklin Square Salon. And when you go to the Franklin Square Salon, either Carolyn or Nella Zor tend to be there to greet you after our concierges have made sure that you're okay because we don't let just anybody in there, do we? That's just one of the best benefits that we re- that, that are received there. So it is. for um, approximately around $5,000 corporate sponsorship, we'll get you a corporate membership to the Franklin Square Society where you get to enjoy complimentary parking, um, the first opportunity to res- reserve your seats for most events. You have a private hotline that you get to talk to Brian Burke, our box office manager. You get discounts on some shows. You get um, an opportunity for your employees to participate in the employee discount program, which is usually a 10% discount and only available to them. Um, You get access to the Franklin Square Salon an hour before and during intermission. Um, Well, I think you're, you're missing one of the best perks about the room. It has to do with beverages. <laughs> I was getting to that one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can tell where my mind's at. Okay. Right. So in the, once they get have access to the salon, they're able to enjoy beverages an hour before and during intermission. That's right. So the free parking and the complimentary beverages, advanced access, that VIP hotline with Brian Burke, those are really great things. And also being able to extend those discounts and extra special things that come up with all of your employees. That's really fabulous. So that's the corporate side of the Franklin Square Society membership. We have individual memberships available to the Franklin Square Society too, right? Yes, absolutely. We have several levels that we that you can you can join as a basic member, a supporter or a patron at $100 or $500. And then there's the Franklin Square Society, which has four different levels, a $1,000, $2,500, $5,000, or $10,000 level. And I think that if you are a theater goer or if you really do need to entertain clients, this is a really great way to just have an upscale VIP experience and show people what a beautiful place, not just the theater is, but Worcester. And it's a great way to showcase what's going on in this city. Just another stop along the way of a night full of fun and entertainment. Don't forget that woo card. Right, and you bring, <laughs> bring up another great point: is there, they also receive with these with this level of membership um, guest passes, and these guest passes are good for you to use for your clients or family and friends, and client or um, even employee appreciation is one of the reasons that um, 
companies become corporate members to the Franklin Square Salon. I know. Those are all really great reasons to become Franklin Square Society members. So we are going to go to a quick break, and we will be right back. So everybody stay tuned for more with me and Carolyn Ambrose about corporate sponsorship opportunities, a little Franklin Square Society mix-up or mash-up, and we'll see you after the break. And there's so much that corporations can do to get involved with the Hanover Theater, but what are some of the different levels for corporate sponsors? There's several. Um, the first one that we have is like $5,000 level, and it's called a supporting sponsor. It goes from a $7,500, there's $15,000, there's $20,000, and there's a $30,000 level. Each, each of those levels have different benefits available to them. Well, you were telling me about something really cool that seems like it's totally new, and it involves champagne and a loge box. What was that one? Oh, my gosh. Jersey Boys. <laughs> January 21st through February 2nd. The show is available for sponsor. It's $30,000. Um, there is a wonderful marketing budget that's gonna, that we're going to spend on print and online and promotions and radio and television and social media. And we're going to spend about $200,000. Um, there's 80 complimentary tickets to the show, and you will be able to enjoy a private loge box for six with champagne on ice for the Broadway performance. Now, if that's not a good way to impress your clients or reward your employees, a little trip to the theater in the loge box with champagne for Jersey Boys, I don't know what is. That sounds great. That's not all. They're going to be recognized as a supporting sponsor to the Spotlight Gala that we'll be having April 26 in 2014 that supports the Capital Campaign. Ooh. Oh, I bet that that's going to go pretty quickly. So you heard it here. I don't know if those are up on our website yet. They probably aren't, aren't, and they probably won't be posted. So really, you need to contact Carolyn directly. And Carolyn, what's the best way for people to get in touch with you? Well, either me or Nell Lazor, the Director of Development at Nell at thehanovertheater.org or Carolyn at thehanovertheater.org. Our phone number is 508-471-1770 for Nell and 1772 for me. Aw. And you can find that information on our website, too, thehanovertheater.org. Boy, I also want to point out that when you talk about the marketing budgets for Jersey Boys, for example, and it's a it's a big budget. It's our biggest budget that we've ever had because it's a two-week show, and that is a big, huge risk for us, but also there's a lot of potential reward. And it's so important to us as a theater strategically to have a successful two-week run because that really feeds into the shows we can get on our subscription series because, you know, of course everybody's always asking us, when are you going to get Wicked? All right. We all know that we're not getting Wicked immediately, but also we need that subscriber base that sells the individual or guarantees the individual tickets so that we can get to the point And we've come a long way in the first five years, and I'm looking forward to where we're going to go in the next five years. My point, however, is $200,000, it's actually a much larger value than that because we have such great relationships with all of our media reps, including WCRN, all of our PR Um, press contacts, the online media, all of that, that the actual value is way higher than $200,000. I had a meeting the other day with somebody that we advertise with, and they were you know, getting a little cranky saying, oh, how come I see your ads in Boston, for example? And of course, we're, we're looking to Metro West, not just Worcester and Worcester County. The fact is, is we don't do any buys unless there's value added included in whatever we're doing. So that $200,000 is cash. It's not cash and trade. So when you roll in the trade and the extra value add that we get for exposure, it's really probably closer to three hundred, three hundred and fifty, maybe even four hundred thousand dollars, depending. And that also doesn't take into account all of our social media promotions that Laurie handles for us. So a show like Jersey Boys where we have something like sixteen different performances, that's a lot of performances that we need to sell. Twenty three hundred seats are a lot of seats to sell. Absolutely. We're already showing Jersey Boys on most of our uh, printed materials and if you were sponsoring that show, your logo would be on there right now. That's true. And it's gonna be on the season guide and all our upcoming emails. It's going to be on our show sheets. It would be on everything that we'd be sending out. I think it's a bargain. Well, and if not a logo, at least sponsored by whatever great company is out there that wants to have that loge box and those 80 tickets to Jersey Boys. It is a really great opportunity. I know when you do your wrap-up for all of our corporate sponsors, 
they tend to be pleased that we've actually delivered more than what you've promised. Always, always. And then, I mean, who wouldn't want their logo on the cover of the program that's going to run for two weeks straight? Right. That's That's huge. a really good point. And also... Don't forget, we do a lot of street team efforts, and we're a lot we're at a lot of events. We're not just at the fairs and festivals, but also things like when the chamber had the business, the women's leadership conference. You know, that was a really great targeted place where people, organizations want to be marketing to the same people we want to be marketing to. So. Coming up next, we are going to be talking with Amal, who works both in our box office and in marketing, and she's going to talk a little bit about the subscriptions. But before we get there, was there more you wanted to tell us about the corporate sponsorship opportunities, other great shows that you're really excited about? Oh, there are some fabulous shows. I think they've heard a lot about them already. Memphis is one for $15,000. Um, the Ooh, Boston Pops. Wait, wait, before we go on and we leave Memphis, there are a lot of opportunities because, you know, we went to that Broadway League conference and we were talking about some of the other angles with really engaging in the community, which is what we all want to do. We all want to engage with our customers, our patrons, our potential customers. And so Memphis is a show that maybe a lot of people in this area don't know a lot about, but it does address issues of racism and stereotypes. And so there's a a lot more we can do within the community that we haven't even planned yet for that particular show. So, Oh, another great one is A Christmas Carol. I mean, directed oh, by our own executive director. I mean, that's a perfect one. That's, that is $15,000. And I just think that that is a bargain December 14th through the 22nd. I think that is just a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to sponsor. Absolutely. And I have to just add in my own little thing, and that is we totally highlight that show every chance we possibly can because it's our show. It's Troy's third baby, you know. (laughs) And every year it's a new, renewed commitment. And we consistently go after new audiences as well as the traditional year-after-year patrons. So That's a great one. Um, Sister Act is another one, 15,000. Um, Ghost, 15,000. That's going to be a great one as well. We also have some other community programs if co- corporations are interested in working and looking in, into those. We have the Access Hanover Lyceum Series. We have the American Sign Language Program. We have the Pre-Show Organ Concerts, Summer Youth Program. They're all available for sponsorship if your company would rather go on the community program philanthropic route. And I, I am glad you brought that up because the Lyceum series is such a really great way to get your company's name out there all year long. Because how many how many events are there in the Lyceum series? Probably next year about five or six. Right. So the Access Hanover Lyceum series, that's a series of free events for our members. We promote that not just in the season guide, not just on our website, but throughout the year. And then we tend to really do some heavy promotions with whoever we're partnering with on those particular topics. Yeah, I think the fall we're going to be um, starting off with, again, building the new Wor- building the Worcester, building the new Worcester, the solar version <laughs> of it. <laughs> Experience the new, new Worcester. Worcester. That's the original brand. But you know what? The fact is, is every season, every year, more and more things are happening in Worcester, and it's important for us theater-wise, as well as for everybody in the community. So anything else you want to make sure that we know about corporate sponsorship opportunities, what's going on in development, Franklin Square Society membership, All Access Club? All Access Club is another wonderful way to get involved um, or be, well, help the theater, basically. Um, You can secure the best seats for every show from September through the end of the year, even shows we don't even know about. Um, And you get two seats, and you get a, Frank, a complimentary Franklin Square Society membership, an individual one. Um, and it's pretty much at a 20% discount. It's a fabulous value. So if you know that you would like love to see every single show at the theater, I mean, there are a couple exceptions if it's a private event. And I don't think we include every single performance of every Broadway show. However, if you know that you love theater and you want to make sure that you have two tickets and fabulous seats or you want to be able to give them as rewards or incentives, that is a really great value. And I know it's well under $10,000. Yes. Well under $10,000. And the reason I'm not giving a price is because there's a range, and we don't know, I'd say, three-quarters of the shows yet. But it'll be just as good, if not better, than all the previous seasons, because that's the way we roll, onward and and upward. And it depends on where you want to sit in the theater. (coughs) That's the other part of it. Great. Okay. So anything else? Anything else? How about Carolyn? You've been here for how many years now? 
three. Three. So you've seen some big changes in the theater and in Worcester? Oh, lots. I always put everybody on the spot with this question. So, Carolyn, tell us, tell us what you've noticed. How about just the, the, the programming on the common? Don't you go yes, to the out to lunch? Absolutely. The out to lunch is fabulous. I love the out to lunch. That yeah. is so much fun to go to on a Friday afternoon and get my my um fruits and vegetables and flowers for the weekend. Well, and just so you know, Carolyn, they've moved it this year to Thursdays. <laughs> just so, just so everybody knows, and we are there from the theater. We send our street team and our interns and we we just found out, so don't be surprised, but it did move from Fridays to Thursdays. That's a new thing this year, and I know CRN is really involved with the Out to Lunch series. So, you know, they weren't doing that three, four, five years ago. So hold on to that thought, everybody. We're going to be back after our break. We're going to be talking with them all. And, again, if you have any questions, go to thehanovertheater.org. You'll find Carolyn's information there, Nell's information there. And don't forget, we also rebroadcast and post these on our blog. So more after the break. Stay tuned. Thanks again for listening to Behind the Scenes at the Hanover Theater. This is Lisa Condit, and I am in the studio with Amal Hussein. Amal has been with us since before we even opened our doors, helping us out in the box office back in the days when we didn't even have it. We didn't even have what shows we were going to do, and we were selling subscriptions, and that was a lot of fun. And whew, she was there for the migration from the Excel spreadsheet into choice ticketing, and now we're making yet another migration from choice ticketing into audience view. Amal has seen a lot of growth and. Boy, I stole her into the marketing department for a, a project that has now been months long, and <laughs> she's helping us tremendously. And we just want to touch base a little bit about subscriptions. Welcome, Mama. Hi, Lisa. Hi, everyone. Thanks for having me. Um, I agree. It's it's been an evolution. You know, the theater. I, I've seen it from from birth to to where it is now and it's it's been a pretty tremendous process and i'm just humbled to be a part of it so well what's really nice is amal was probably one of the first people who understood what i was talking about way back five and a half years ago and i said oh yeah so we should have our own blog and we should have our content and we should have different people posting and contributing and i had all these really great Great ideas, ideas but it it's taken a while it has, but you know what? It, it's taken a while, but everything you know, it, everything happened in the perfect sequence, and it's it's been you know a great process, I think, for the theater and the marketing department, and getting you know all our tools up, and we're we're in a very good place moving forward for the next five years. And Amal is very humble because she's been helping us out with a new system of project management and integrating technology as a tool, and it's all fabulous. Also, if you were at the Adams family over the weekend, I think Sunday, Amal was there, friendly, answering any questions people had. And it, it really made me realize when I was at the Adams family in the lobby answering questions that people really like to talk to us. They And it's so nice for us to really be able to talk to our patrons and answer questions, mm-hmm. basic questions, and they like to know that we're real. Absolutely. It's really great interacting with our customers, and it's such a it's such a great opportunity to kind of really, you know, hear f- feedback, see the reactions, see happy people walking out of the theater, kids laughing. Um, you know, it's always great for us. We're always working behind the scenes, and, you know, so it's such a great opportunity for the administrative staff to just kind of be a part of that pulse um, at the theater. So it was great. It was a great weekend. Absolutely. Everyone enjoyed the show. It was a brilliant show. It was fun, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. And we're excited because, of course, we have our 2013-14 subscription series. Very and that excited. includes, of course, Jersey Boys and Memphis and... A lot of other great shows. We've got Ghost. We've got Sister Act, Man of La Mancha. We've got some really great add-ons, Hair, Mamma Mia, A Christmas oh, Carol, of course. So I just need to stop you oh, for a second okay. because that was the big question, I okay. think, when I was there on Friday because mm-hmm. Friday is a big subscriber performance. Mm-hmm. People were worried when they saw the signs for Hair and Mamma Mia because those are two such iconic, fun, fabulous musicals. Mm-hmm. They were worried they had missed the boat. They have not missed the boat. Absolutely not. That's what we do here at the Hanover Theater. We keep bringing bringing great shows, br- giving giving um, giving our patrons things to do, m- more opportunities to see great classic shows on Broadway here in Worcester. And we've added on two shows to our calendar this year for our Broadway uh, for our Broadway performances. That being Hair and Mamma Mia. Uh, we ha- 
these are just extra shows which you have the opportunity to buy tickets to. They aren't on a weekend. Both they're both running throughout the midweek. I, think, I believe Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, and so, if you're interested in seeing those shows, you have the opportunity to buy any seats. You're not specifically locked into your subscription seats. And these two shows are only available to subscribers till August. So till August 23rd, and that's when they go on sale to members and the general public. So thereafter. So this is another great reason to become a subscriber. You get first dibs on all these great shows, great seats to to everything. And um, and so we really encourage you to, you know, grab your seats now if you'd like to also see Hair and Mamma Mia in addition to the five or six you might have already purchased. Right. Because we say guarantee great seats at the best price. And that really is true. What what you also need to realize is with your subscription, you get that complimentary basic membership with the basic membership, because I think that's another question people have is Mm -hmm. if I'm, if I'm a member, I'm a subscriber, right? Well, not necessarily, right? Our subscribers, they have guaranteed seats year after year that they're able to renew or improve for that Broadway series. Those are their tickets for the or their seats and the ticketed shows that they're committed to. And again, we appreciate and love our subscribers so much because they help guarantee that we're going to be able to keep growing that Broadway offering that we have. So we love you subscribers, and that's why we think of these extra benefits. So with that basic membership, advance access to shows. In the case of Hair and Mamma Mia, our subscribers are getting advance, advance access. Yeah. Christmas Carol just went on sale to members, but that was another show that our subscribers... only available to subscribers initially. That's right. And what's nice about that is literally you can choose pretty much wherever you want to sit and whichever performance you want to go to, and you're not limited to your two or four or three or however many subscribed seats you have. Because I think add-ons, I think that's another question that subscribers have. So in the example of this coming season... Jersey Boys obviously is a big show that people are going to want to add on to. So how does that work when you've got a subscriber with two seats in the orchestra? Yeah. So with with that's a great question, Lisa. Thanks for asking it. So let's say a subscriber has seats in B101 and 102, and they want to bring six of their bestest friends to come see Jersey Boys. So they now need eight tickets instead of their typical two. And of so, course they want to sit together. Of course right? they want to sit together. <laughs> um, given subscription seats are always the best seats and everything around it is you know typically sold because we do try to push our subscribers uh, to get the best seats available we might not have six seats next to you for that given performance so what we can do is we can move your two seats originally um, at your original two seats and put them somewhere else in the theater uh, and we can seat all of you together or we can on the same day or we can move you to an entirely different performance which is wide open, which is a non-subscription performance, maybe the Tuesday opening night, Wednesday, um, and we can we can seat you anywhere you'd like, most likely front row, you know, second row, third row, prime seats available for non-subscription shows. And these are going to be available to subscribers <laughs> for a while before they're even open to members. So you'll get that chance to buy extra tickets for all of the Broadway shows, um, you know, six including Mamma Mia and, and Hair. Um, you know, much sooner than the public and the, our basic members uh, have access to them. And with Jersey Boys, that is a really great example because we do have so many extra performances. Mm-hmm. And because people do want to bring extra people, our busiest performances are those Friday, Saturday evenings. But with Jersey Boys, we have two weekends of performances. So we can exchange subscribers into the following weekend. However, It's wide open on Thursday night. The matinees, there's some availability, some good availability, and even that Sunday evening Mm -hmm. performance. And we actually, so the subscription weekend for Jersey Boys is, so subscribers are are already seated for the first weekend. After the subscription weekend, there's a full other week that's left. And we highly recommend for folks who are thinking about buying extra tickets for Jersey Boys, we highly recommend that you and your friends all try to stay in the first week because this is a show that many people, once they see it, they want to see it again. And you want to have the opportunity to see it again. So if you switch to the last Sunday and you say, you know, darn it, I really wish I could bring my grandkids to see this, then, you know, you're, you know, it'll, it'll be tough to do that. So we really recommend everyone to push for push for the first week. Uh, If you want to see it again, you want to tell your friends about it, you'll have the opportunity to do that. So uh, we highly recommend, um, you know, trying to stay within the first week if you can. So what are some of the other questions that you get? 
Well, I'd like to go over the the add-on process in general. So start it, as of Monday. So uh, tomorrow, you will have, after 10 a.m. You will be able to uh, on June June 17th. Just to clarify, you will be able to buy extra tickets to any of the Broadway shows if you're a subscriber. That's Jersey Boys, Memphis, Man of La Mancha, Sister Act, Ghost, and Cirque Dreams, ho- ho- Cirque Holidays. And so all those six shows, plus Hair Mamma Mia, you'll be able to buy extra tickets. Uh, let's say you're a Friday night subscriber, and you, you know, for Sister Act, you're out of town that weekend, you want to switch to Sunday, you can do that. So add-ons and exchanges open up tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. for all subscribers. Uh, so if you want to buy Christmas tickets, you know, early birth, you know, early birthday gifts. This is a great time to get it. We highly encourage all of our subscribers to get all of that stuff done this in the next few weeks before members get chance because the you know our members are waiting with beta they're, they're waiting with bated breath uh you know they're very excited and, and and about buying all these tickets and and so you know if you want to try to get the best seats for your add-ons and exchanges we recommend doing them as soon as possible um and so yeah. sounds like it's going to be a busy day busy week in the box office box huh? office is going to be <laughs> busy but we're excited and you know that we're happy to serve so that's what we're here for and you know and and for any questions if you know if you you can always do the you can buy extra tickets online but if you're looking to exchange you do have to call the box office or come to the window so you can't do it online and the exchanges have to be done over the phone or in person and if you do have any questions at all the box office is open monday through uh saturday uh 10 to 6 and 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 for the summers, we're only open on Saturdays if we have a show. So, it, you know, you'll have to check our calendar. But we're always here to answer any of your questions. No question is a stupid question or, you know, too, uh, you, know, ben- you know, benign. So please call the box office, ask questions. We're here to help. And, um, you know, we're really excited about this the great award-winning season. And, and I'm personally excited to, to see some of these shows. So. Great. And so that number is 877-571-SHOW or 877-571-7469. Thank you, Amal, for joining us today. And thank you to all of our guests. Carolyn, Laura, you did a great job as always. We appreciate what everybody does for us. So tune in again next week to Behind the Scenes at the Hanover Theater here on AM 8. 30 WCRN. See you at the theater.